let's continue with uh, physical properties of carboxylic acid. Okay, physical property. Uh, the first one, the first physical properties that we are going to discuss is the boiling point. Eh? Boiling point. Okay, the very first thing that you need to know is the greater the number of carbons in the molecule, the higher the boiling points of carboxylic acid. More carbons, eh? more carbons in the molecule, higher uh, boiling point. Okay, <clears throat> for example, methanoic acid, HCOOH, and uh, ethanoic acid, C2, uh, sorry, CH3, CH3COOH. Okay, yeah, this is methanoic, this is ethanoid. Okay, now which one has higher boiling point? Ethanoid, okay, ethanoid, yeah. Why? Because it has more carbons, right? Okay, more carbon uh, because because they say that you have a greater number of carbons, the boiling point is higher. In exam, you need to explain why. Why the greater the number of carbons, the higher the boiling point. Uh, okay, actually we have explained this for uh, a few times uh, in other homologous series. Uh. Uh, for covalent compound, the boiling point, the boiling point is affected by the size of the molecule. Okay, because because the intermolecular force, uh, intermolecular force means the force between the molecule. Let's say we have a molecule with another molecule. There's a f there's force between this molecule, and the intermolecular force between the molecule is what? The intermolecular force is when the wall force. Yes. So when the wall force, uh, when the wall force. Okay. Now this when the wall force it depends on. It depends on the strength. Eh? The strength depends on the number of electrons. Okay, it depends on the number of electrons in the molecule or the size of the molecule. Eh? So the strength of this Van der Waals force depends on the number of electrons or, or the size of the molecule. So the bigger the size of the molecule, the stronger the force. And the stronger the force, uh, more energy is needed to overcome the force due during boiling. And therefore, it has higher boiling point. Okay. Uh, so that's the first thing that you need to know. Uh, the greater the number of carbons, the higher the boiling point. Okay. Second, the boiling points of carboxylic acids are higher than alcohol of same number of carbons. Uh, for example, for example, uh, uh, ethanol. Okay, if, if, if we have ethanol and ethanoic acid, okay, ethanol and ethanoic acid, then ethanoic acid has higher boiling point compared to ethanol. Okay, ethanoic acid has higher boiling points than ethanol. Uh, this one you don't need to explain actually, you don't need to explain, okay? But anyway, if you want to explain, then let me show you, okay? For ethanol, CH3. CH2OH, yeah? okay, and uh, for ethanoic acid, CH3, COOH, okay, now you see the difference, eh? the difference is uh, we have this CH3, CH3, right, and we have this OH, yeah? this OH, and we have a carbons, and we have a carbons, eh? the only difference is this one, okay, the oxygens, eh? uh, and this one, there's two hydrogens, eh? okay, this oxygen contain more electron compared to these two hydrogens. Uh. Hydrogen just two, two, two electrons. Uh. But every oxygen there is um, eight uh, electrons. Okay, there's eight electrons, and therefore, uh, okay, so this one contain more electrons compared to these two hydrogens, uh. and uh, more electrons the greater the Van der Waals force, uh, higher the Van der Waals force, and therefore the boiling point is higher. Okay, you don't need to explain this. Uh. You don't need to explain this. You just need to know that if you compare uh, carboxylic acid eh, to alcohol eh, that has same number of carbons in the molecule, eh, then carboxylic acids will have higher boiling point. Uh, that's that's what you need to know. Okay. Okay. Solubility in water. So far, we have learned a few homologous series. Eh? Let me check with you. Alkane. Soluble or insoluble in water. Okay, any of you tell me alkane, soluble or insoluble in water? The answer is insoluble. Alkane, eh? all alkanes are insoluble in water. 
like oil, yeah? like oil, insoluble. Alkene, how about alkene? Soluble or insoluble? Insoluble, yes. Okay, insoluble. When I put a cross, means insoluble. Eh? Okay, insoluble. Alcohol? Alcohol? Alcohol soluble, yes, okay. But there's only for small molecule. Eh? Only for small molecule. Uh, big molecule alcohol, eh? big molecule alcohol are insoluble. Okay, small molecule alcohol are soluble, big uh, big molecules alcohol insoluble. So not all alcohols are soluble. Okay, not all alcohol are soluble. So just a few alcohol are, are soluble only. Eh? Okay, and then uh, now carboxylic acid. Okay, carboxylic acid. Uh, from here actually we know that it's soluble. Eh? It's soluble. It's also for small molecule only. Eh? Okay, small molecule carboxylic acid are soluble. Okay. Uh, after this, after this, uh, there, there, there are one more homologous series that you need to know. Uh, that's ester, and ester are insoluble. Okay, so alkenes, alkene, ester are insoluble. Alcohol and carboxylic acid, uh, if the molecules is small, like uh, a methanol, ethanol, propanol, eh, or methanoic acid, ethanoic acid, or propanoic acid, uh, they are soluble. Okay. So that is the uh, that that that's the solubilities uh, of the five homologous series that you need to know in SBM. The second thing that you need to know about solubility is the solubilities of uh, the bigger acids. Uh, means uh, the bigger molecule. Uh, the solubility decreases as the size of the molecule increases. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, for examples, ethanoic acid. Compared to uh, hexanoic acid, this is hexanoic acid. Uh, one more. Okay, hexanoic acid. Ethanoic acids are soluble in water. Okay, and hexanoic acid, the solubility is very low. Just small amount are soluble. Okay, if you mix. Uh, this is hexanoic acid in water. Eh? Just small amount will dissolve in water only. Okay, so the solubility is very low. Eh? So the bigger the size of the molecule, the lower the solubility. Eh? Okay, and uh, why? Why? Eh? That is because that is because eh, in in the molecule, eh, in this molecule there are two parts. Eh? There are two parts. This part are soluble. Okay, this OH. Eh? This OH are soluble, but the long carbon chain here, these are insoluble. Now you can also say this COOH are soluble, okay? Yeah, but actually, the what really soluble is this OH. Eh? So this OH are soluble, but the carbon chain are insoluble, okay? So in this case, uh, this this OH group play an important role to make uh, this carboxylic acid to uh, to dissolve in water. Therefore, it's soluble, okay? But for this one. For this one, uh, the OH group is just a small part of the molecule, and the carbon chain are the major parts of the molecule. You see, the part which are insoluble are so big. Okay, they are insoluble. Okay, these two are insoluble. Okay, uh, these two are soluble. Okay, so if the carbon chain become very long the solubility will drop okay it will drop and it, it make the carboxylic acid become insoluble uh, so the bigger the size of the molecule the lower the solubility yeah? actually the the explanation is given here okay uh, this is because the longer hydrocarbon tail of the molecule get between water molecule and break the hydrogen bonds okay so that is about the solubility. Yeah?